Okay, what is going on you guys? It's your boy back here, Terry's E24, and in this video here, we are back on my main account, the Terry's E24 account, and it is that special time where I finally went ahead and, as you can see, I got my Minotaur ready to rock and roll to take his freaking ass to 99, so we're just gonna go in here and feed those real quick. Consume some essence and bam! There we go, guys. Let's check that shit out. A perfect Minotaur. 5 of 5 Revite, 9 of 9 skill. His body slam now targets 50 ground units, dealing 210% damage, inflicting a stun for 3 seconds, which is what I wanted it for. It gets that extra half a second stun at 99, so now it's a three full seconds. And I have him at a level 83 inscription, and I have a level 2 bulwark on him, so he should be hitting pretty damn hard now in these uh, raids and stuff, which I do have some quests here to do. And we're just going to go in here. I'm going to just go in. I'm only running into four heroes. Let's just go, we're testing out this 99 Minotaur now. And keep in mind now, my Pumpkin Duke, Minotaur, and Cupid are all 99. So, I'm just kind of curious what this Minotaur... Okay. Look at that Minotaur. He didn't even have an Ares Frenzy, guys. Oh my god, I cannot wait to... We gotta get look at that. I didn't even have oh, such a lag. I didn't even have an Ares Frenzy and that Minotaur proc just wiped out that 40 shard dungeon. Wow. Alright, we don't need no expert dungeon, so we're gonna head right back in here to the 40 shard dungeon. That, that. There's the first Minotaur proc. We just need to show you this dude. Look at that dude. Two Minotaur proc and it's game over now at 99. With the buff of Cupid and Pumpkin Duke. You know what? I don't even need a freaking uh orc tank. I don't even need a healer because let's just take him out of there. I mean basically with these three, Pumpkin Duke, Cupid, and Minotaur, it's just basically game over, guys. That's all I'm gonna really need here. So let's just go right back in. Here we go, we just go keep it out there first for him guys. First Minotaur proc. Let's wait for the second one. Game over. I mean you can see that. That is just insane. I love that. Let's just try it in 30 shard dungeon just for the hell of it. So I keep it first, go in there, right First Minotaur proc, a lot of that eats up all that damn uh there it is, two crops. That's all it takes now with 99 Minotaur. The first one hits a lot of damn ground units, so that's where a lot of it goes. But let's just zoom out here. We don't even need the shield. Look at the first Minotaur crop. Now let's wait for the second one here. We're going to zoom out. Game over, guys. <laughs> wow, that is so sweet. I, guys, I'm so glad I just 99 this Minotaur. That is pretty badass. All right, so we need to go do some raids. There we go. Oh, they're just complete raids and we need mana. Guild play. All right. We're just gonna go in here and do some three-man raiding with these heroes now. Let's see here, we got a lot of gold. All right, so here we go. Really no mana, so all of it's right here. Look at that first cross. He's 51% uh, structure done. And that's all we need. I mean, we got it all right there. 51% on the first Minotaur proc. That is just so sweet. So basically, I can just go sloppy, do that. 46%. And that's all I need. Because I don't need the 3-star. I mean, that, that's just so great. I mean, what a difference of this. There we go. Let's just do this. Let's just do this, this, this. Look at that Minotaur proc, he's eating them alive. Okay, get a second, second proc inside the base, game over. 
I mean, yeah, I mean, no base now can survive two Minotaur props. Let's zoom out here a second. And there you see everything just power rate. This is going to be a good base for this. Let's do the first proc. Oh my god, one Minotaur proc! Holy shit, guys. That is fucking amazing. Guys, I must suggest. Alright. So let me just show you this here. Pumpkin Duke's maxed. With that right there, you can see what he got. Cupid is maxed. With that right there. And I just showed you what my Minotaur has. So there we go. That, I am loving this Minotaur. That is just making the rating like so quick. And honestly, I haven't rated with my Minotaur in a while because I've only been using heroes that need leveling. Right, there's the first one. I eat up a lot of food. Get that second proc. Man, oh, that Dracula didn't even die, but it don't even matter. Wow. Oh, well, there we already got that complete, so... What I want to do here is... Let's just get this max gold. Gold. And gold. There we go. That's good enough. So, where are we at in the time? We're at six minutes. Let's just go in here and run some Lost Realm. With this, uh, Minotaur team. Maybe we'll get a merchant in here, too. Oh, here comes the Here Be Demon. Huge damage. Now, guys, this I'm not going to be using Minotaur for this, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and run this Herbie Demon, and let's do the challenge. And let's go in here and run. It's just huge damage, so let's see here. Here we go. Hopefully my buddy Bro247, Bro247, my guild member, hopefully me and him can take this, uh, since it's just a huge damage, uh, here we Dean, we can go ahead and knock this guy out here real quick. And right, here we go, hopefully we get this out of the way, get his butt out of here. There we go, we get him stacking a little bit quicker. There we go, everyone's getting the oodles and noodles going now, guys. Somewhat. What is going on here? Why ain't they moving? But did a goat die? I really can't tell what's going on, but they're not moving fast enough, that's for sure. How did they die? It's just a huge damage, I guess. Well, I don't know what it is. Sometimes I record, and that's what the hell happens. So, all right. So I don't know what happened, but what's Hirsch running here? Another YouTuber. Let's just go in here and use my buddy Hirsch. Me and him are going here and knock this out. Just two times some different people here. There's an Aries kicking in. Then five of five Revite Aries. I know Hirsch has a five of five Aries. So that kind of works out well. So he has a 5 of 5 Aries, and I have a 3 of 5 Aries. So his Aries will proc first, and then mine's going to proc shortly right after. So it's like, them Aries should be like hitting shortly after one another. So the ball should almost always have an Aries proc hitting it. So I don't know what happened in the first here, B Demon, but there we go. I mean, my Montana goes taking 80% of the damage away, and then that my Sucky goes taking like 24 or 26% away. So... That boss could not be hitting for like anything, so I don't really get how that boss is really even killing anyone. Right, so here we go, we're gonna finish this up. Come on. No way that boss is surviving. There we go. What are we getting here? 500 crystals and a map. Right, what do we got here? Treasure trove, guys, like I said, treasure trove is a big freaking waste. Don't even do it. I'm not putting my, another treasure trove in there. So they're trying to give me, like, I, guys, I just don't do it no more because it is a huge waste. All right, 70. 
Right, so here is my normal setup for uh, Lost Drum right there when I'm attacking. I love it. So now I'm going to see how this extra half a second stun's going to work with that Minotaur. So let's just watch these ground troops here. They're going to be sitting there for a long time now. Yeah, that champion never even moved. I mean, my Minotaur is stunning like a champion right now. That's a long three seconds to be setting there. So let's just take a look at these ground troops. I think everyone here is a ground troop. Yeah. I mean, you can see it right there, guys. I mean, they're just not even really moving. Very little movement. I mean, basically, by the time they're moving, Dracula's proccing, and then that destroyer is going to come up and proc because. Watch this here. Here we go again. Boom. One proc, there comes the other one, and look at that. Basically, that Cupid is getting that destroyer to proc almost the same time as that 4 or 5 revite Dracula. See, guys, that's why it's important to get a 9 and 9 Cupid because that Cupid is going to make everybody proc so quick. Damn, I mean, that destroyer is talking right after that Dracula. Yeah, so we're just zooming through here. Some pistols. Back to this here. We're just kind of killing some time. Oh my god, a third treasure chest and treasure trove. No, I don't want the piece of crap. Uh, one thing I did want to point out, uh, a YouTuber by the name of Aziz uh, Gaming pointed out, I want to correct uh, what he made aware of my attention, that, guys, I'm stuck on level 18, so the farthest I can grow in my crystal mines is 18, so uh, I was made aware that the level mines do go up to 30, so, like I said, I'm way behind on these uh, crystal mines, because I don't put no gems into playing the Lost Realms, so that's why. So I just want to clear that up. The mines do go up to level 30 from what I'm being told. So, the farthest I can go at my level is 18. Let just look at that. What? Yeah, so there we go. Whatever happened there. What's this? They're not going to give me no stupid, uh, merchant. Come on here. Our yeah, last chance to get a merchant. I just wanted to run here. You can see the Minotaur. I mean, he, he's just keeping those heroes sitting there for a long time. Alright, so we're not going to get... Alright, so there we go. We're going to take these guys out. I'm going to put my uh, Herby Demon team in. Which will uh, help everybody out that is on my friends list. There we go. Alright, get that stamina card and we'll go back into that. And we do have 500 to 7,000 crystals. Let's take him a level. There we go. And one more. 85 Minotaur now. So now, guys, I got a 9 of that Minotaur. Who in the hell do I go next? I got Mage at 7 and 9. I've been feeding my extra Druid to this Druid. So I may just take him to 7 and 9. You can see my 9 and 9's here now. Reaper, I'm not going to really use Reaper, so it definitely won't be him. Maltanic is 9 and 9. Thunder God, I could take him to 7 and 9, but I'm really not worried about it. Guys, I'm really thinking it's going to be between Dracula and Spirit Mage. Now, I believe Spirit Mage hits extra targets for every level up. But I don't really use Spirit Mage at all anymore, so... Guys, I need your help. Should I take Dracula to 99? Or should I take Spirit Mage to 99? That is the question. Who do I take? And, I mean... I guess... I mainly just, like I said, I'm not really proving anything in the game. I just need to start feeding another hero some skill level points. Unless if I want to take this Orc's Bane here to 7 and 9. But, I mean, he's healing pretty good at 6 and 9 right now, so I'm not really worried about it. 
And like I said, I'm not taking Aries no farther unless I get that 5 of 5 Revite. So he's staying there. So yeah, between Spirit Mage and Dracula is going to be my next two choices. So guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed seeing some 9 and 9 Minotaur action. Uh, it was definitely pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, check this out. I have every single hero unlocked with HP. So I don't have any hero that needs leveling with using honor badges. So there you go. I, I mean, that's what I did, guys. I just went in and start. I have so much freaking HP. And I just keep doing this. This is what I'm doing every day now. Until I get those heroes up. And I guess... We'll just take him here to... Dra what? You know what? We'll, we'll feed him to Dracula for now. He's making like a lot of... Right. So we'll just keep doing This is what I do, guys, every day. Roll HB down the belt. I mean, it's pretty sad, but... I know a lot of people need HB. And this here's what I'm doing. Because I haven't even did my, uh... Hero Expedition today. Yeah, 5,500. Just wasting the HP. You gotta love it. Like I said, guys, I haven't even ran this yet today. And I'm gonna get, I, I think I usually get like 30 to 40,000 HP just by doing that. So, I haven't even did the boss tonight, which I don't even really do the boss anymore without any the HP. There we go. I have to get down to like 950 in honor badges. Then I can go in here and do that, so. Well, there you go, guys. That's going to about do it for this video. And uh, I appreciate you all checking out that 99 Minotaur. And if you want to see some more 99 Minotaur or Maltanica action, uh, just shoot me like a message in the description of this video of uh, what, you, what you want to see me do. Um, honestly, guys, I have not tried to go back and beat... Uh, here be monsters S yet, so maybe I could now with these extra heroes I got. And the talents and the I haven't tried them even since the second talents come out, so maybe that's the case. And uh Oh yeah, while I'm here looking at this, I want to give a big shout out to my guy Brendenberg. Man, I used to be in the arena group with him when I was big in the arena. And there we go. Brendenberg beat Here Be Monsters T5, so that's pretty badass. Who's on the list here now? God, to get on the list nowadays, you gotta beat T4s. Jesus, but uh, maybe I'll do a video attempting S again. I haven't tried that in a while, so my heroes are a lot stronger now than months because I just farmed J. So, all right, guys, enough of my ass rambling, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Terry Z24 out.